here I've again written out the truth tables for these uh, whiffs, these uh, associated with these connectives. And let me just say that the these truth tables, it is these truth tables that define the functions associated, the truth functions associated with these connectives. And we give this symbol, for example, the name conjunction, and we interpret it as somewhat similar in English to the word and, simply on the basis of the truth table in question. Both A and B are true, then this with A and B comes out true under all other circumstances where one or both of them are false, then it comes out false. Now, it's interesting. Let's just do a little exercise here. And let's make up. We have FFTT, TFTT, TFFF, TTFF, TW. We might have another truth table here. And let us think of one that doesn't uh, appear under any of these five whiffs. We might have a truth table for some whiff with a, some sort of a, a symbol, a connective in here, which I'll just illustrate by way of a star, an asterisk. That might go, well, let's see, it might go F, T, 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 T. Would that sequence FTTT doesn't appear anywhere here. We might have defined on that basis a new connective. We might use any symbol in place of this star. Now, we, as a matter of fact, we, t we don't use any other connectives. We won't find much use of it. And, and in this case, the star simply is equivalent to the negation of, because it's F up here and T everywhere else, the negation of A and B. We could you introduce this additional connective asterisk, in other words, as a shorthand for negation of the with A and B, because in this case A and B take see the values T I'm just going to change color here T F F F and by the truth function associated with this symbol under those circumstances this whiff would take the truth value opposite of that of that which is F T T, T, which is the same as this. So this symbol, in, under those circumstances, were we to introduce it as a connective into our language, uh, by definition, would in fact be simply a shorthand way of writing this. We, we could go on and on and we could introduce a number. In fact, you could work out how many additional connectives we might, uh, binary connectives, we might introduce. Um, in terms of these other connectives, these five connectives that we're currently using. We could do that, but as a matter of fact, we don't because the marginal uh, utility, as it were, usefulness of those additionally complicating connectives is pretty minimal. So these are the five connectives that we will limit, to which we will limit ourselves in developing our propositional calculus. All right, now I'm once again going to ask you to forgive my appalling handwriting and my appalling drawing uh, as I tell you that I've here written out a number of whiffs. Let's see, one, two, three, four whiffs. And we're going to draw up, I'm going to draw up truth tables for these whiffs. Now these whiffs, this, uh, this first one contains just uh, two sentence letters, A and B, and here these are the, the basic units uh, up from which all um, whiffs are built. So I'm giving you the truth values of these 
uh, A and B in this case are true and true on the first line here, and I've also introduced a third, whiffs with a third um, sentence letter appearing in them, C. So I've given over here the exhaustive combinations of truth values associated of truth values for A, B, and C. Now you'll notice I'm not going to go into this in any detail, but you'll notice there's a pattern here. Uh, the number of possible combinations of allocations of truth to any number n of sentence letters will be 2 to the power of n. Here we have three sentence letters, so 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so we have 8 lines, 8 combinations here of truth values. And I simply, the, with a, I just half of those are true, and the bottom half false, and then half of those are true, half are false, and similarly moving along to the next one, half true and half false. You can construct these simply, and I'm not going to go on to describe why that's uh, that's the case. I'm just, just telling you that that's the case. Right, now, these connectives, the functions associated with them, the, the truth functional, so the functions associated with them act on the truth values that we've ascribed to these sentence letters. Now, we have to work with the innermost connective in the first instance. Let's look at that. A and B. Well, A and B, both true here, that's true both true here, that's that we're talking about the innermost, A and B here. True, this is false, because in this case B is false, again B is false, so A and B is false, and the falsity runs right the way down here, because A all the way down here is false. Now remember, negation here reverses the truth value of the whiff that is negated. The whiff that is negated, the truth value we've got here, so reversing it we have false, false, and true all the way down here. That is the truth value associated, the truth value of this whiff under these allocations of truth values to the component sentence letters. Let's work on the second whiff here. Again, so we start with the innermost uh, connective C arrow B. True, true. C implies B under those circumstances given this truth function is true. Again, C implies B, C is false, B is true. Let's take a look at it. What does this function do in taking falsity followed by truth to a truth value? Well, falsity followed by truth works out as true. Now we have C arrow B, true and false, that is false true, 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 false, true. Now, A, we have four t truths down here. The first four lines, A is, takes the value true, and in the second four lines, it takes the value false. Well, by this truth function defined up here, wherever the first sentence letter takes the value false, then the whiff in question turns out true. So we know that for the last four lines here, this whiff will, whatever the truth value of this second part of this implication, must take the value true. Now we're looking for a false here in order for this entire whiff to be false. And we have one on this line. So we know that there we have a value false. And elsewhere it's going to be true in virtue of the fact 
that the beta, as it were, in this alpha arrow beta type whiff is true. All right, now in the case of this whiff, we have two, as it were, innermost. They take the same, same priority, two innermost um, component whiffs, uh, A and B up here by this, again, this truth function up here is true, true, and false everywhere else, because only under those two uh, sets of ascriptions do A, uh, both A and B take the value true, C or B, wherever one of them t at least takes the value true, then C disjoined with B works out true by this truth table up here, and let's see where they both take false in that case. Well, they both take false on this line, so that with second of the these two conjoined whiffs takes the value false, and on the last line it takes the value false. Everywhere else it takes the value true. Now, this is a conjunction. It, let me just write that out a little more clearly. It's as a conjunction. It takes the value true when both of the conjoined whiffs take the value true. Well, they do on this line. They do on this line. They do not on that line, so it's going to be false. And they don't on any subsequent line, because all of these we have at least one false over here. So that is the truth table for this whiff. And we do the same thing in respect of, it should be becoming pretty clear now, in respect of this last whiff, let's look at A and B. Well, A and B take the value true under this ascription, the ascription associated with this first line. It takes the value true here, and it takes the value false everywhere else. Wherever the first whiff appearing in that implication takes the value false, then we can see over here the whiff itself takes the value true. So we know there's no need to look at C over here. We know that this whiff up here must take the value true in all of these, under all of these ascriptions of truth. So we have just these two top lines. C in the first of these top lines takes the value true, and in the second takes the value false. Well, under those circumstances, what do we have? We refer again to the truth table, the function associated with this connective, this implication connective, true, true, makes that true, true, false. Well, true, false, false. And there again, we have given the ascriptions of truth to these most basic components uh, within these complex whiffs, the, the fundamental subformulae within these whiffs, then we can find a truth value for the whiff as a whole. And that truth value is set out here in red.